seriously, another message? Oh my goodness, people need to stop texting me. <laughs> what the heck is this? What is this video? Wait, 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 hold up. Isn't this the dude that used to bully me back in high school? Oh my god, bro, what an idiot. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna show this video to all my friends. This guy sucks. And yeah, he should die, honestly. He deserves this. What a thug. I hope he stays sad for the rest of his life. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and show this to all my friends. Honestly, people like him shouldn't even deserve to live. Just, he sucks, man. Evil brings out of darkness all the devils we didn't know exists, from revenge to malicious intentions. Evil poisons the innocence, turns hope into despair, and takes away the peace and tolerance we all seek. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now let's rewind. What would have happened in this story if people were more informed about cyberbullying? If people weren't hypocritical about the fact that cyberbullying is bidirectional? You can be bullied and get bullied at the same time, and just because someone is a bully, bullying them is most definitely not justified. Continuing on, the result is obvious. None of what is happening would even have happened. No one would have harassed the effect of cyberbully, and said cyberbully would never even have felt the obligation to post such a sad and emotional stirring video online. To take things even further, Said bully would probably never have even started cyberbullying, as it is commonly known that bullying is a never-ending cycle, and just like corona, it spreads from one person to another with no visible cure. We as a society have the obligation to help each other and to help pull each other up instead of drag each other down. So please, don't be the bully, and please, don't feel that being bullied gives you the green flag to bully others. <laughs> 